everyone. My name is Kate McKenzie. I am the school counselor at Maddox Elementary and today I am back in the Beehive for uh, episode two if you will. Um, the first video I posted was in our other location down by the Ohio River. Uh, today I'm in my parents backyard which is where the, we kept bees the very first time we started a few years ago. Um, this is our smallest hive. Uh, we went into beekeeping season. There was only um, a few hundred bees in this hive and it was really scary because usually they need a lot of bees to go into the hive um, or go into the winter and this hive is doing awesome which is really great. You'll notice that we have this uh, purple pink insulation taped around it. Um, that is just to keep the bees warm. They love being warm in the winter just like people do so that extra layer of foam really protects them. I really suggest that you check out my first video explaining kind of what the point of beekeeping is um, in February, March, and April. Okay, I'm going to zip this up to make sure that they don't sneak in. I have already smoked the front of the hive to let them know that I'm coming in. But I'm going to smoke them here too, just so they get down a little bit. They are so calm today, which I love. Um, it makes it a lot easier to work with. Once again, just like people, um, bees also don't like being extra hot. So their most grumpy time of the year is in August when Cincinnati is so hot. So this is a really great time of year for us. The reason I chose this hive is because I wanna to try to find the queen bee for you. Um, that would be really neat for me to show you. Um, but while I'm working in the hive, I wanna also answer some questions that you all asked um, from my first video. Um, one of which was, why aren't there any boy bees in your hive right now? Well, that's a great question. Um, boy bees really only do one thing, which is eat the food. And so in the winter, the queen doesn't lay any boys because all the girls want to eat for themselves. The hive in the bee world, it is made for girls. So they, they do all the work. They are the ones that go and visit the flowers. They're the ones that sting you. Um, so they, they really work hard. Because this is a beautiful frame right here. All those filled in um, circles, if you will, are babies that are going to be born. So we're gonna take a look. Oh, look at that. On the first try, there is the queen. Do you see how she's a little bit longer than the other bees? Her abdomen is longer. The black part on her is bigger. She is just cruising around. You may also notice this bee right here has yellow on it. That is pollen. Okay, so beekeepers joke that those are their pollen pants that they've put on. You may have heard the term the bee's knees. Um, that's how they bring in pollen. They put the pollen on their knees from all the flowers around and they put it in the hive, that pollen will, uh, will give them the protein and nutrients they need. Well, I made that really easier than it usually is. Usually it takes quite a few minutes to find the queen. I'll pull one more frame for you, and oh, I'm gonna pull one that's full of honey at the top so you can see the difference between honey and baby bees. So all this at the top, let me hold it. This is all honey. Okay. They eat that in the um, winter and throughout the year. So this is a really beautiful frame. We have, um, we have brood. If you see in here, you may see something that looks like a grub. That's the larva, so, um, that's a super, super baby bee that hasn't, um, that's not in the brood here. Okay, so that's really neat to show you. So this hive is good to go. This is really, really beautiful. Some of you asked last time what this entrance thing is in the front. So my lovely mother is filming, so I'm gonna have her, this right here, this prevents other animals from coming in such as mice. Mice love beehives in the winter because the bees keep it really warm and the mice actually like to snuggle up. This is kind of funny to show you guys. All this stuff right here 
I bet you can't guess what that is. It's bee poop, okay? So the bees don't go to the bathroom in the hive. That would be very unclean. These are super clean creatures. And so they wait until a warm day and then they all come out at once and they go to the bathroom. So that right on the front is gross bee poop. Uh, the last thing we're doing today, and I won't film it for you, but we're just gonna add an extra box to the hive. So it's basically like adding an extra story to your house. This is because we just saw that all those baby bees are going to be born and they need a place to live. So we'll be adding some more frames and, um, and giving them room to grow. The last question I want to answer is, we were asked how many times do we take the honey from the bees? And that's only two times a year, okay? Because like I said, bees eat the honey to survive, so we need to make sure that they have enough to make it through the year. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.